Projectile motion is a form of motion in which an object is thrown near the Earth's surface and moves along a curved path under the action of gravity. When an object is forced into projectile motion, it moves both vertically and horizontally. For projectile motion, two assumptions are made. The air resistance is negligible so that the horizontal velocity remains constant, and the air resistance is negligible so the vertical velocity is only acted upon by the acceleration due to gravity. Because the horizontal motion remains constant, what ultimately brings the object back to the Earth's surface is the acceleration due to gravity acting on the object vertically. An object in projectile motion creates a parabola-like path. The initial velocity sends the object into a projectile motion. This initial velocity is a vector which can be split into its horizontal and vertical components. As the object travels the projectile motion path, the horizontal velocity remains constant. The vertical velocity decreases as it travels because it is being acted upon by gravity. At the peak of motion, the initial velocity becomes zero before it begins to fall back towards the Earth's surface. The object does not accelerate horizontally because it is traveling at a constant velocity. However, the object does accelerate vertically at the rate of acceleration due to gravity, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. At the end of its path, the object still has the same horizontal velocity, and the final vertical velocity is equal to the initial vertical velocity, but negative. In tennis, the object forced into projectile motion is the tennis ball. The force of the racket sends the ball into projectile motion and gives it its initial velocity. The horizontal velocity of the ball remains constant and the ball accelerates vertically due to gravity, which is what ultimately brings the ball back to the surface of the court.